Billy Ray Cyrus is our guest live in Studio 985, brought to you by Coors. This is the largest room I've played in 10 years. <laughs> I got a scoop about you today. And I got an email from a guy, uh, C.B. Harding. Yeah, yeah. Says you're doing a movie with Billy How and Billy. How you know Because I know CB very that well. That is secret stuff, man. You're working said, for it, TMZ, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. it is is it secret stuff? No, not, not no more. I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Like, tell him. I, had some. I don't know. That's all he wrote me. He, goes, yeah. he said, I'm, I'm engaged. And by the way, I'm working with Billy Ray Cyrus on a new movie in Orlando. Yeah, it's a Bill Ingvall movie. And I got to tell you, I've got so many things I'm doing right now. The last thing I wanted to say is... Okay, I'm going to go do an, a movie. another movie. And just everything, up. my whole life was full as it was. But I honestly couldn't put the script down. It's called Bait Shop. And, um, bait Shop? Bait Shop. How many uh, fans of the Hannah Montana show in here? <laughs> There's a moment, the most recent episode I saw, and I'm sorry and happy to say I've seen them all, where she, she's jealous. That you've written songs for the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. She, and I, I think that was so, that was a Lucille Ball moment for her where she plays the guy. You are so on the money. I, during the filming of that and watching Miley play the guy, I honestly, at that moment, said, my little girl is becoming like a Lucille Ball. She just fell right into that well, stuff she did. and was she had so natural at it. She had a little love patch like yeah, you do right there, too. Yeah, she had too, the little thing going on. <laughs> yeah, Man, <laughs> she played it. and I wrote, Soul patch. Yeah, what was weird was uh, when we filmed the pilot of Hannah, we did it in the studio where they did all of those Lucys. It was in the oh. exact same building, the exact same studio. And I, I felt then, you know, I, I'm kind of a strange fella, you know. Channeling, I, I, felt, I channeled a little. I, I felt like, wow, this, oh. is, this is really neat to be in Lucy's building. A little bit of that spirit there. A little did I know that Hannah would become what it's become and, and, da, 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 and that Miley would evolve as an actress as she has, but... I think there's a little bit of Lucy hanging around. Lucy got in her, and you got little Ricky or Fred went through you. Or <laughs> I've had several go through me. You got some In fact, a burrito went through me earlier. So. <laughs> Are there ever moments in the Hannah Montana show, Billy Ray, where you say, "Oh, this is this is too close to real"? I mean, this is basically oh you're, you're scripting from life imitating art or art imitating life. Well, it couldn't be any more real than the episode where I write "Ready, Set, Don't Go," Aww. and I realize that mm. my little girl's grown up, and it's it's time for me to, you know, uh, let her go on her way. And uh, every single day, every single moment, every time I sing that song, or any time I get a phone call from Miley, or I might just be traveling somewhere and thinking about her, I'm living that song well and it so says what every parent is thinking i always tell my kids i'm like stop eating healthy food i don't want you to grow up do not grow up. smoke and stunt yourself you do want them obviously to grow up and be independent and and go their own way but it's so hard yeah it's scary it is scary and our song went to uh number 10 and for this old i seriously for this old man (laughs) to get a top 10 i mean that's that's big doings for me so i want to thank the radio station, all the fans out there, all the kids and moms and dads and mammals and papals that watch Hannah Montana and, and, and listen to your radio station. Just uh, thank you so much. It really means a whole lot. And um, I just count my blessings. You know, I count my blessings just, just to be back and be a part of country music. I love country music, and uh, that's really where my heart and soul is, and I'm just glad to be back uh, in the business.